We're in Madrid at the Fuse Show. I'm here with Dr. Sharif. He is Senior Technology Strategist at Omentel. Dr. Sharif, great to see you. Thanks for joining us today. Same here. So um, can you just tell us a little bit about your, your telecom uh, industry experience? Because you're at Omentel now, but that's not the only job in telecoms you've had, is it? Sure. I started maybe my telecom uh, career in uh, Lucent, Bell Labs. After that, I joined uh, Verizon Wireless headquarters in, in New Jersey. Uh, all were in technology introduction, uh, in, mainly in the US. Uh, then I moved six years ago to Omantel, uh, where I am senior strategist responsible for the technology strategy uh, and the technology roadmap, technology introduction within uh, Omantel. Okay, great. Now, um, at the event here this morning, you were on a, an operator panel that was looking at open RAN strategies at different operators. Now, Omentel is the member of a consortium in the Middle East, is that right? Yes, uh, there, uh, we are member of the Open RAN uh, consortium, the GCC. They call it also GCC7. There are seven main operators, uh, and Omentel is part of it. Uh, the main focus of the operators that they are mainly uh, discussing, number one, they share the same aspects of the network and the same requirements almost, very similar. And they have the same goal of accelerating the open RAN uh, adoption and trying to get to uh, a development state. So, uh, so this is what we are doing in the consortium and it's gaining a lot of, uh, a lot of traction. Okay. And the consortium has uh, just released a white paper, I believe? Correct. Uh, a couple of days ago, we, we published our first uh, white paper. And it is mainly discussing uh, Open RAN uh, for Brownfield, the challenges and the opportunities. So, um, and uh, within, uh, I feel uh, really proud to be part of uh, generating this uh, white paper. Uh, and encourage everyone to go and uh, download it from, uh, it is hosted on the TIP uh, platform on the website so as they can take a look at our message where we list our common challenges and common uh, opportunities that we are uh, seeing as well as the steps we are taking in order to achieve the adoption of Open RAN. Okay, and, and this is a really important point really because Brownfield, uh, up to now, we've heard a lot about some greenfield deployments of Open RAN, but for nearly every operator in the world that's going to maybe deploy Open RAN systems in the coming years, this is they already have networks. It's going to be brownfield deployments. So, what you're looking at uh, within your consortium and within this white paper, this is applicable to uh, operators all over the world. Correct. Uh, it is very evident in in the GCC area that we have a very challenging uh, condition. So uh, if you look at uh, the seven operators, we are all sharing the same phenomena, which is a mainly a brownfield areas. Second thing is that we are a highly modernized network as well. So the room for the open RAN is becoming very challenging. The scale will be very small if we don't do an effort to prove a, a convenient use case or reduce the, the total cost of ownership to a dramatic condition where we have or a certain feature that will bring the open RAN and introduce it either on a certain use case or prepare us for a future deployment of open RAN at a large scale. So, uh, so the brownfield, especially in the GCC area, is challenging for the performance requirements as well. The performance requirements in our area is very high. So also this is to, uh, to give back to the Open RAN development world, is that to be careful about the performance in order that we are able to reach a performance level in order to convince us to be able to enlarge our scale of deployment. So right. these are the challenges and it is definitely in the white paper is explained in details. Okay. So the opportunities uh, we all know about. So of course, uh, many opportunities coming from Open RAN and we can discuss it if, uh, if time permits. Yes, absolutely. So, I mean, for, for Omantel, um, you know, this isn't just an experiment. Uh, Open RAN, you obviously believe, will be able to bring some, some benefits and something new. So what, what would be the main advantages for Omantel for, 
uh, bringing open RAN technology into its network? Sure. We have to go to basics first. So the open RAN is differentiating through, you can say, three main differentiators. The disaggregation, the intelligence, and the operational automation. So uh, regarding this aggregation, it is the main differentiator. So this is something that we have dreamt of having. So you have disaggregated everything north of the RAN. So uh, is disaggregated and there is a great deal of openness north of the radio access network. So why not we do also the radio access network? So it is time that we to get together in order to be able to disaggregate this piece of equipment and piece of uh, access network. The second part is the intelligence. So the, the intelligence augmenting the RAN with the intelligence is very important second piece where we will be able to uh, enjoy whatever is promised by the RIC from our apps and X apps. So this is the augmentation we are looking forward to. It. The third part is we, we, we mentioned a lot of interoperability, a lot of new vendors that will come into the picture. How you will operate this? So you will need automation as much as possible, which is coming through the SMO from the uh, operational automation. All of that, there is a big secret, which is trying while doing all of this mix is to have a TCO that will make sense, that will make the operators say, I will make this because of short-term TCO as well as long-term total cost of ownership. So, so this, these are the three major, and overall the TCO is the secret of, uh, of the source, so uh, in order to make it happen. Okay, excellent. So that total cost of ownership, absolutely critical to, to all operators and great to hear that that is a, a focus at Omentel. So Dr. Sharif, thank you very much for joining us, giving us your insights, telling us what's going on in the Middle East and I look forward to catching up with you again in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much. My pleasure.